As you visit websites and look at pages within those sites, you will soon find that there are parts of web pages that tend to be the same. Some of these common parts include the branding area, such as the page header, the navigation, such as the page nav, the footer, contained in the page footer. There may be others, depending upon the site, but these three are common across most sites. Because these three parts of the page are common across most, if not all, pages in a website, they are prime candidates for modularization. Modularization is a process of having the server include code from a common source prior to serving a web page to a client that has requested it. This process saves time and effort on the site developer's part by writing and maintaining the common code in a single location and letting the server deliver the code to every page in the website. This example begins with the home page, index.php, that represents any page on your website. In the page, you will see that the entire page has been hard-coded. The page header contains the site brand and the main navigation elements. The footer contains content related to the site, as well as a PHP code block to indicate when the page was last updated. To begin the modularization process, we create a folder at the site root that will contain the common code blocks. The name doesn't matter as long as it follows the web naming rules. Next, I analyze the code to be modularized. In the case of this home page, the nav element is within the main page header, so I will modularize the header, including the nav, as one common block, and part of the footer, excluding the last updated statement, which I want to remain in this page, as a second code block. To modularize the header, I create an empty file named appropriately in the new folder and ensure that it has a .php extension. Next, I select and cut the code from the home page and paste it into the new empty file. I repeat this same process for the footer code. Having extracted the code from the index page and placed it into the module files, I am prepared to tell the server to put the same code back into the web page for me. To do this, return to the index.php page and click within the header. Create a PHP code block as shown on the screen, and within the code block type include space dollar sign underscore server, left bracket, single quote, document, underscore, root, single quote, right bracket. All of this should be uppercase. Following the bracket, type period, single quote, forward slash, whatever the name of your folder is, forward slash, whatever the name of the header file is, dot php, single quote, semicolon. Be sure to use your folder name and file name, not what you see typed in the video. Move to the footer and repeat the same process.
Upload the new modules folder and its enclosed files and then right click the index.php page in NetBeans and select Run. The index page should upload and open in the browser. If everything worked as it should, the header, navigation, and footer should still be intact and work as always. If you right-click on the browser and select Show Source, you should also see only HTML code and no sign of the PHP. That is because the server only sends back to the browser the results of the PHP, not the actual PHP. At this point you may be wondering, why would I do this? Good question. Let me show you. In NetBeans, make a duplicate of the index.php page and name it mod2.php. Change the title or main content heading so you can tell it apart from the index.php page. Upload it to the server and view it in your browser. Now, open the header.php page in NetBeans and change something so that it is obvious that the change has been made. Upload the file. Return to the browser and refresh the mod2.php page. The change made to the header code should be evident. Go to the index.php page. The change should be obvious here too. One change to the header.php file now appears in both of the content pages. Imagine how much time would be saved if your site had 10,000 pages and they were all built this way. You could make a change to one page and have that change reflected in all 10,000 pages. Now there is a time saver. As stated previously, modularization saves time and effort to build and maintain websites by allowing you to create common code called modules once and instruct the server to put the page back together by including the modules into the web page whenever that page needs to be sent to a browser.